All right, guys. Um, here we have the. This is the first uh, kit saw that I've built from scratch. Um, this is a 440 kit from uh, Holtz Pharma. Steel MS 440 clone. So it's the first. Uh, I have the G444, which is their blue version. And this is the first, um, you know, kit. As I said, I've built orange and white. Worked out pretty good. Went together nice. Kit wasn't missing any parts, but um, you know, so far I've done one heat cycle on it, and um, I'm anxious to see how it does in the wood. This is actually a big bore. I bought the big bore cylinder um, when I ordered the kit. Um, so she is a 52 millimeter, which puts it at 76 cc's, which is the same as the 460, basically. Unfortunately, these Holtz Pharma kits, the, the, the cylinders, you know, the exhaust timing is, the roof is, is quite high, even with a gasket delete. You know, I'm at 98, so I'm going to be lacking torque. But, you know, hopefully, with me raising the transfers, um, you know, opening everything up, I might even do a carb mod. I've never modded a carb before, but I think I might try my hand at I kind of open in the venturi a bit and, and, and see see if we can get it to breathe better considering it's pulling more air volume um, to the stock 50, 50 millimeter jug and this is the same exact carb um, that will come in the 460 kit you know so um, yeah some improvements probably to be had but you have a nice muffler mod here double the 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 side uh, exhaust hole is about is about double the size you can see it there and then the, the, the front slot is also widened to probably double so it, it, it sounds pretty good she runs good I left the exhaust roof quite quite flattish still still give it a nice arc but it is quite quite flat she has some good compression and she looks nice You know, so I think she should run good. We're going to put her in some wood and probably run a tank or two through running 32 to 1. Um, you know, everyone says these kits, you know, they last better if you run a, a bit more oil in the mix. Even 40 to 1, people have smoked pistons and, and had issues. So I would advise anybody running these kits to run run at minimum 40 to 1 but you know get get to 32 to 1 to 40 to 1 and you should be okay decomp is plugged i really don't trust those chinese decomps but a lot of people run them and the oiler is working i, I actually swapped out the this side cover here, we're running the big 660 bucking spikes, as I have on my other G444. Um, you know, just looks awesome. It's just a little thicker, a bit more heavy duty than the than what comes stock. Um, these kits come with a spur, right? So it's not, a, I mean, it's a 3 8 so I'm going to run it. 3H chain anyway on these so there's no need to really change out but for those guys that want to run a rim sprocket you can you can swap that out and um, you know you'll be able to run different stuff you know you might you might want to run 404 chain or I don't know I think 3H is it for me so I'll just run this until it, until it rears out and then swap it for a spur sorry for a, for a, a rim but yeah this has had one heat cycle through it. The oiler works, you know, so yeah, we're going to, I'm going to carry it outside and we can start her up and you can hear how it sounds. And then once she's fully broken in, you know, maybe I'll run, I'll probably run one tank, you know, tune really rich, probably like 12, five or so. And then the second tank, you know, I might start to lean out to 13,000 RPM. And then by the third tank, fourth tank, probably raise her up to 13.5 or so um, you know and, and we'll do some actual testing in the wood 
but I'm suspecting it's going to be down on torque because, you know, while it's 76 cc's, I would prefer to have an exhaust roof of at least 100, you know, 101, maybe 102, just to get that, you know, when you dog in, you know, it doesn't bog, you know, some good torque in, uh, for a work saw. So, I mean, this, this, this will probably be, probably run a 32 inch bar, um, you know, so if you're dogging into 24 inch and up in, in, in terms of wood size, you know, you want it to have some good low down grunt, but I still want it to rev pretty high, you know, and be snappy. So 98 may work well. It'll be a good cookie cutter, that's for sure, but it might be down on torque. So I don't have a lathe. I can't, I can't cut the base. If I, if I did cut the base, um, I would probably, you know, take at least 20 thou off the base, which would gain me probably two degrees. So I'll, I'll bring my roof up to 100. Um, the intake right now is set at about 77, 78. So that would drop my intake down to close to 80, which isn't bad. But that's, that's pretty much where max I would want to, to run this on the intake. Run 80 on the intake, 100 on the exhaust. I'll have to cut some out the squish band because right now with the gasket delete, I'm running about 22,000 squish. So it's pretty good. That's why the compression is, you know, it's, it feels pretty good. I haven't done a compression test to see what, what it's pulling, but it's probably between 180 and 190 PSI, I would think. Um, but yeah, I have to get a lathe because I don't know why if FarmerTech were to make their cylinders with just, just lower that exhaust roof. If the exhaust roof came at 102, 103 standard, it would give us the opportunity to lower our intakes, raise your roof, keep it, keep it there for good torque. You know, you can play with the transfers and stuff, but it would be, it would be awesome. But right now, if you don't have a lathe, you, you really can't make a torque monster out of these stock farmer techs. So I'm limited to what I have, but you know, it, it should still run good. Anyhow, enough with this video. Let's get outside and do some cutting. up here working good. working sounds good crisp so you got to put on a bar and start let her eat some wood and try and break it in all right guys this will be first two cuts breaking in the newly built 440 clone 